The Jacksonville Jaguars inch closer to a playoff berth and a division title with a 19-3 win over the New York Jets last night on Thursday Night Football. My name is Alex Frank, the perfect season podcast alongside Anthony, Alex, Leon, and Jake. The You know me as Frankie, but I'm also Alex. So there you go. The Jaguars are a really, really cool story. They're a fun story. They are an underdog. They weren't supposed to be this good in year one with Doug Peterson and maybe year two with Trevor Lawrence, but here they are in control of their own destiny to win the AFC South. I mean, who would have thought that a month ago, two months ago, at any point in the season? But then again, the Jaguars were in first place by themselves at two and one after three weeks. Last night, Trevor Lawrence, 20 of 31 for 229 yards and only took one sack, and that was on the first possession of the game. Travis Etienne Jr. with 83 yards on 22 carries. Evan Ingram had another solid game, seven catches for 113 yards. Jacksonville's defense last night also with a spectacular performance, only allowing 10 first downs, 227 total yards, and the Jets only had 66 yards on the ground, Jacksonville had almost 10 minutes more time of possession. They had only three penalties, so a really solid performance on the road by the Jaguars. The Jets did not score after their first possession. Now, both teams are 7-8. and eight. Both teams are still in the hunt for a playoff berth. The Jaguars are still in the hunt for an AFC South title. The Jets at 7-8, and eight, it doesn't get much easier for them. They have to go to Seattle and then to Miami, and that is not going to be an easy stretch. The Jaguars go to Houston next week. Houston has had their number over the last few years, but a winnable game for sure, and then they go home to Jacksonville to play the Tennessee Titans in Week 18. It'll be interesting to see where that game is come the Week 18 broadcast schedule. But a good win for the Jaguars last night. They are now 7-8 and on the season, winners of five of their last seven. The Jets have now lost four in a row. And a big question for them is, what's going on with Zach Wilson? Last night, Zach Wilson was just 9 for 18. But it felt like it was 9 for 28 because he missed several throws. I mean, they were thrown in the no man's land. He had only 92 yards passing, one interception, was sacked three times, a QBR of just 5.2. His backup, Christian Strebler, much better, 10 of 15 for 90 yards, actually Got the Jets going a little bit offensively in the second half. He wasn't sacked at all. QB rating of 72.1. Zach Wilson's rating 41.9. Strebler 82.6. So passer rating, that is, for Wilson, 41.9. Strebler 82.6. So do we see another change in quarterback for the Jets next week? Other scores last night. Let's go to the... Uh, college bowl season. We had one game last night in the bowl season, and that was the it was the Lockheed Armed or Lockheed Martin, excuse me, Armed Forces Bowl. Air Force beating Baylor thirty to fifteen. Air Force finishing the season at ten and three. Baylor finishing at six and seven. A year after winning the Big Twelve championship. Let's go to the NBA. Only two games last night in the association that saw the, let's see, the Pelicans beating the Spurs 126 to 117 and the Jazz beating the Wizards 120 to 112. CJ McCollum with 40 points for the Pelicans and the Jazz were three points. Take a look at the state. In the NBA, whoops, I accidentally clicked on the NHL, but that's okay. You know what? We'll go to the NHL. Several games last night. Anthony, of course, Antonio, big Tampa Bay Lightning fan, um, as I'm sure you all are well aware. Let's take a look at some scores last night. The Maple Leafs beat the Flyers 4-3. to three. The Bruins beat the Jets 3-2. to two. The Rangers over the Islanders 5-3. to three. Capitals over the Senators 3-2 in overtime. The Hurricanes and the Penguins. Hurricanes winning that game 4-3 in overtime battle of two really good teams in the Eastern Conference. Canucks over the Kraken in a high screen affair 6-5. Kings over the 4-3. Sharks over the Wild 5-2. Let's take a look at the standings. We'll go back to the NBA. We'll check those first. 
in the NBA last uh, or in the NBA right now, the Bucks, the top team in the East at 22 and nine, followed behind by Boston, Cleveland, and Brooklyn. But the Celtics just a half game back. The Cavaliers one game back. The Nets two and a half games back. Sixers and the Knicks in fifth and sixth. Seven through ten, Miami, Indiana, Atlanta, and Toronto. In the West, Denver, the top team right now in 1911. Memphis tied with them in 1911. The Pelicans half game back in 19 and 12. Phoenix one game back in 19 and 13. Clippers a game and a half back in 19 and 14 and fifth. The Kings 17 and 13, two games back. So a log jam in the West, seven through ten. Separated by just one and a half games, Utah, Portland, Dallas, and Minnesota. So really competitive coming down, or I shouldn't say coming down the stretch, but uh, in the early goings of the NBA season. Of course, the Warriors, the defending champions there. We take a look at the standings in the National Hockey League. We are just, what, we are just about, just over two months into the season. Right now in the Eastern Conference, the top three teams, the Atlantic Division, Boston, Toronto, and Tampa Bay. The Metropolitan top three teams there are Carolina, New Jersey, and Pittsburgh, New York, and Washington. The Rangers, that is, the first wild card in the East. The Capitals, the second. The New York Islanders, speaking of, they're only two points behind Washington for that second wild card. Western Conference in the Central Division, it's the Stars, Jets, and Wild in the Pacific. It's the Golden Knights, Kings, and Kraken top three teams. Top two wild cards right now, Colorado and Edmonton. Colorado, of course, the reigning Stanley Cup champions. Calgary, one point behind with 37. Let's take a look around college basketball last night. Top 25, there were a couple games last night in the top 25 that saw, let's see, number four, Kansas beat Harvard 68 to 54. Actually, there were three games. Number five, Arizona over Morgan State 93-68. And Missouri take Illinois, number 16, Illinois, in a blowout 93-71. to Coming up tonight in, let's go around the uh, games coming up tonight in the NBA. We've got on NBA TV at 730, the Bucks and the Nets. So a matchup between the East, two of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. 10 o'clock, you got a good one out in Phoenix, the Grizzlies and the Suns. Let's go to the NHL. Coming up tonight in the NHL. We've got on ES, you got a bunch of games on ESPN Plus. In fact, all games tonight are on ESPN Plus. A couple of games have been postponed. The Lightning and Sabres in Buffalo and the Red Wings and Senators in Ottawa. Let's go to college basketball tonight. We've got some top 25 games conference play just around the corner. Some conferences have already started conference play like the ACC and the Big Ten. But let's go to what we have tonight in the top 25 in college basketball. Number 18, Indiana hosting Kennesaw State. That's the only game tonight that's on the Big Ten Network at 7. Number 17, Wisconsin and Grambling. That game has been canceled and will not be rescheduled. Coming up tomorrow, a full preview of the NFL Week 16 games, including the Bengals and Patriots. We've got the Eagles and the Cowboys from Dallas. Gardner Minshew getting the start in place of the injured Jalen Hurts. And also that game, the Bengals and Patriots on CBS at 1, Eagles-Cowboys on Fox at 4, and also tomorrow on Fox. Fox has the doubleheader. It will also be, or I believe they have the doubleheader. It will be, well, maybe they don't. Oh, you know what? They don't. Oh, they do have a doubleheader. Um, let's see. The game in the early window that we will take a look at, Eagles and Cowboys, the game of the week, of course, matchup of two of the NFL's best teams, Bengals and Patriots, the Bengals were on a six-game winning streak, and they clinched the playoff berth last night by virtue of the Jaguars beating the uh, Jets. We go to Week 16 in the NFL. We'll take a look at the viewing map, and Fox Early will be showing Seattle and Kansas City. So that's the dominant game across the country. Giants and Vikings also getting shown a lot of areas of the country as well. So we'll take a look at those games, plus the Bengals and the Patriots, that game getting shown around much of the country as well. Speaking of which, the Bengals, we like to celebrate accomplishments by our teams. Of course, I'm a Bengals fan being um, from Ohio and having ties to Cincinnati. Anthony, a Tampa Bay sports fan. Alex, Miami Dolphins and Florida State, same Leon. And Jake, Florida Gators. So 
I'm going to talk about the Bengals a little bit. Obviously, very happy that they're in the playoffs. Clinchmas, Mary Clinchmas to Cincinnati. And I think what I am seeing from this Bengals team is that this was a hard-earned postseason berth. Last year's was too. But this year, they've had to overcome so much. First off, the expectations are higher. They've responded to those. They're 10-2 and two in their last 12 games. Only two losses coming by two points at Baltimore and then the forgettable Monday night game against Cleveland. But think about what they've had to overcome. Going all the way back to training camp and Joe Burrow's appendectomy, they had to overcome losing Clark Harris in the season opener, then DJ Reader, then Jamar Chase, then it was Joe Mixon, then it was, uh, before Joe Mixon, I should say, Chidobe Awuzie, then Joe Mixon, then it was T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, then Troy Hendrickson and Mike Hilton, now Sam Hubbard, and yet this team just keeps on winning. This team is resilient. This team has overcome a lot. This team knows who they are, and they say they got that teams have to play them. They got to play us, and they are so right about that. So very happy to see the Bengals in the playoffs. They're 10-4, and four, currently the number three seed in the AFC. Long way to go, though. The division is still up for grabs. The number one seed is still up for grabs. The Bengals do control their own destiny for the two seed right now. So going to be a very, very fun final three weeks for the Bengals and across the National Football League. For more Perfect Season podcasts, check it out on YouTube. That is where me, Anthony, Alex, Leon, and Jake are. Perfect Season podcast on YouTube. Subscribe to it. And we will hopefully be back with the NFL Week 16 breakdown and look ahead to Week 17 next week. I'm back tomorrow previewing some of the key games across the National Football League. Of course, Christmas Day NBA games are coming up on Sunday. We got NFL games on Sunday, too, so lots to look forward to. Hope you are having a very happy holiday season, Christmas, Hanukkah, and so much more. I'm Alex Frank, for the, or better known as Frankie, of the Perfect Season Podcast, and I will talk to you all tomorrow, and hope you have a great, great rest of your day.